Yeah, he told me before a game that uh, it's about the time the should be the time to score a goal. So I think he did. <laughs> Who told you that? You see. <laughs> and, and you listen. No, uh, I did listen. <laughs> <laughs> talk, talk about that play. You had the puck, you stepped up a little bit before you shot the puck on the side. So Gino found the roll with it. Yeah, Gino was a great player. I started to get angle to get the shot on goal, and uh, yeah, guys made a great job screening goalie, and uh, ended up going in. Well, you have moved that you you have where you fake the shot and go around the guy. Is that something that you you've had throughout your career? Uh, yeah, I've been working on it, uh, and it's something I really want to do on the ball, and it makes it harder to. Uh, predict what I'm going to do there and block the shots. Is there any other player that you've seen use that move a lot or maybe patterned it after? Uh, there's a lot of players that used to do it. And uh, For example, uh, Lidstrom, I remember he's really good getting shots through. And uh, from uh, Finnish, the Iman Numen and the Timon, and I, I feel like I've watched those when I was growing up. Do you play like that require a lot of confidence? Do you feel like you kind of have that at this point in the season that you're feeling really confident in your game and what you can do out there? Yeah, I... Yeah, I feel comfortable out there, uh, and uh, you know, I I still d don't feel like I'm kind of you know ready. I I still gotta get better, and uh, I'm gonna work for it every day. Well, you know, you know about the players. You see this bring up players up here. Uh, the Tigers made it before. Those teams where they never won 13 games in a row. When you look around the room, you see the guys who accomplished something like that. Tell you about something about this team. Yeah, for sure. It's 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 a great team. I can say that, and uh, it's not all about the really like the players we got, like the best players. It's about how hard we work out there, and uh, you know we we want to pay the price every game to win the game. Yeah, for sure. It's something special. We don't want to have uh, have it make it easy for the away team to come here. Where does that goal rank in, uh, in big time goals? Uh, it's it's going to go pretty high with the NHL goals I've had. There's not too many of them, though. Yeah, where we see a little motion coming out of there after you scored that. Yeah, it's it's, coming out. yeah of course. It was, it was a big goal, and uh, for sure I was really excited about it. Oli, when did you have that conversation with UC and what was said? Uh, before a game, right before we stepped in the warm ups. What did he say? He just said, like, I think it's about time to score a goal. I was like, all right. Did you ask him why? No, I didn't ask why. So thankfully he didn't jinx you, though. Yeah, exactly. He was, <laughs> he's a good person. He wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, and that play he made back to you, I mean, he obviously had a big game. I mean, can you just talk about what he was able to do out there today? It seemed like he was kind of flying around. And yeah, for sure. He was, he, he was feeling it tonight. And uh, you know he's really dangerous player when he's feeling it. He's really, really good, good skater, and he can see the ice well and make plays. Is there anything you describe scoring big goals like this? You had a big one against the Wild, and your mom was here to watch, and another huge goal tonight to get you guys the win late. I mean, can you just describe? I, I don't know. It feels always as good score. I don't, but to score a game-winning goal, that's something special, and it's felt really good.